Hi, my name is Shen Chengzhang. I will present the research Patterns for Representing Knowledge Graphs to Communicate Situational Knowledge of Service Robots. This work is done in collaboration with my co-authors Zixuan Wang, Chao Ran Chen, Yi Dai, Lü Man Shan Ye, and Xiao Hua Sun. Service robots need to not only utilize but also communicate their situational knowledge of the working environment. Knowledge graphs, or KGs, are commonly used to represent such knowledge in robots. Recent research focused on designing KG interfaces for expert users. This helps experts to understand the internal state of the robot and program new tasks. However, how to design an understandable interface for non-expert users remains to be explored. To this end, we aim to discover patterns that naturally arise when ordinary people try to visually communicate the knowledge of a robot using cards on a canvas. We describe the process of discovering and formalizing these patterns. Then we derive design recommendations by prototyping and Wizard of Oz testing. We began by creating comic strips to represent stories of knowledge communication between a human and a robot. We took care to depict the scenario in a way that does not hint at how the knowledge is presented to avoid influencing the study outcome. We then designed hexagonal cards to represent pieces of robotic knowledge. The hexagonal design allows for versatile arrangement and efficient use of space. The card code of the cards corresponds to common types of situational knowledge, which is summarized from a literature search. The content of the cards is filled in according to each scenario. The 12 participants of the study had no prior knowledge of KGs or robotics. We presented them with the scenario comics and asked them to play the role of the robot. They arranged the cards and drew on a canvas in a way they think is most understandable and clear. Then they narrated the canvas using a rectangular frame meant to represent the limit of the robot screen. Showing here is a time lapse of the entire process. To extract common patterns from the final canvases, we developed a five-step process that consists of iterative coding and verification. The coding is done in two levels, one for local smaller patterns or low-level patterns, one for the overall structure of the canvas or high-level patterns. We use diagrams to formalize them to arrive at the final pattern library. The low-level patterns or components provide various ways of grouping knowledge elements to communicate short pieces of information, like using affinity to group similar knowledge, or using location on the canvas to indicate where events happened within the room. The high-level patterns or modules are ways to combine and organize components to tell a more complex story. For example, participants may nest many smaller patterns within a larger flowchart pattern to show the robot's reasoning and knowledge it used while carrying out a task. Our co-researchers not involved in the analysis designed a set of knowledge communication interfaces for lab service robot using the pattern library. We then tested the interface using Wizard of Oz techniques on a Tammy robot. During the process, we found that an advantage of using the patterns is that they can be directly translated to graph database queries. Meanwhile, designers can design interfaces without detailed knowledge of the KG structure. Overall, the 10 participants of the testing responded positively regarding the interface. Interviews with them highlighted several design recommendations. Technical language in the ontology can confuse users, so it's better to use user-friendly language when presenting KG data. Loops in the KG structure and a large number of similar elements also confuse users when browsing the interface. The classification tree pattern can help ease this problem, but at the expense of increasing interface depth. Browsing KG using the entity and relevant information pattern is easier than browsing by ontology but a preview of the neighborhood might be needed to support this interaction. If you wish to learn more, please refer to our paper for more details. The cards, dataset, photos, and code we used are available on the project GitHub. Thank you very much for your attention and interest, and we wish you a great day. Bye.